Hey guys, today we are going to be make recycled view transition smooth animation like this. So basically it is two fragment, one is home fragment and another is detail fragment. So we just applying the transition animation to navigate one page to another. To make that we have to use navigation architect component libraries in both system and app level griddle. In our system griddle we have to add this class path and in our app level griddle we need to add this navigation component libraries. Also here don't forget to add these plugins. After adding we have to create a simple recycler view. So we already know how to create a simple recycler view. Here we have created the simple data class my model with one parameter and we created the array list of data class. We are going to be add some data to this array list. So when this page load we will get this data. So we using the recycler view. So here is our recycler view widget. In this widget we additionally added this transition group equal to true to make this animation. This is a step one. We need to add this one additionally. Remaining things are same. It's a background color and linear linear manner is linear type. So you can add this in XML or in code as you wish. So here we have we are recycled view ID. We using the apply scope function to applying this linear layout as fixed to we have using a fixed set of data so we using this one and um, this is our adapter so adapter basically going to load data one by one in this adapter you need to additionally add this one this is our design code view for this item so in this item we have passing this one transition name is title and some dynamic value so basically we have to set this transition name for each item uniquely this this one so i just applying the unique name of transition name is based on position so it will be unique for each item after adding this one there we make two things in this recycler view we added the transition group is true and our item ui design we have added this dynamic card view with transition name of some dynamic values so now we are going to be on click this one when we on click this item we just passing this view view binding design so basically we passing this card view this is a card view item so we passing this id to our event function so this event function in our fragment so when user on click this adapter on click this item we will going to be pass some data to our second page. Basically, we are going to be pass some transition name detail to second page. Here is the navigation code to navigate one page to another. So this is one of the way we can make navigation animations. So here we set this exist and re-enter animation. You can adjust this duration time and you can try your own time. And also you don't forget to add this code this transition code in below this on view created this will help to make some delay transition between your pages until the load loading time in your home fragment so basically this you need to add this step one and here it, be, below this navigate you need to add this transition duration then our adapter you have to set dynamic transition name in our recycler view you need to add so you need to add this transition group in our recycler view so like this you need to done this all then we are going to be passed some data to our second page so we need to receive the data in our fragment basically this is our fragment one with recycler view and we are going to be make action to first page to second page here we have the argument we going to be received from our first page. So here is our transition name and title we are going to be display at this time here. So basically this transition may cover animations. So in our detail page we are going to be received this data and we just going to be apply this transition name to our card view. So this both transition name will help us to make this transition. 
and you can also set some uh, color animations like you can set screen animation like I am using transparent you can try some other color to change this transition or you can adjust this duration and there are many type of interpolator like this so I am using a linear interpolator you can get this more options low or some slow fade in fade out there are many options available here you can try and try your own way these are one of the way to make this transition animation you have more option to make this transition smooth one page to next page animation you have so many options I just showing this one of the demo here I just created the base fragment so I just going to be use this base fragment for every fragment so this will make my code some little bit lesser so I just using the common base fragment for every my new fragments so to receive the data from first page we have to use this one argument so these are the arguments we are going to be get this data from first page so argument or title this will be get from your navigation graph so in this navigation graph we getting this data from our first page this is our argument name title and transition so basically we are going to be get this data here title also we are going to be get this arguments argument dot transition arguments dot title you will get the source code from our git link thank you guys see you in next video